Hey Tanya. Hey Mary. I am looking to see if the coloring is correct because my camera went wazoo crazy and I don't know what happened to it. So we're going to check just to see if maybe it's better. Hey Kenny. I can't really tell but let's just see. It's it's all right, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it why it keeps defaulting, but alas, it does. So there's that. I got a call. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, also, I'll probably move the camera down after I get done showing stuff. Um, not really sure. Um, yet how that's going to happen. Wilson. So here I am faking it till I make it because that's what's happening today. So what are y'all doing? How goes y'all? Are y'all good? I hope you're good. Um, I'm going to show, I got some, we're going to do some show and tell, and hopefully we'll get to the coloring part. Um, but yes, I have, I have some stuff to show you. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start with scrapbooking stuff first. Um, I have the sniffles. So there's that. I'm trying to get into my live chat on my phone. So give me a moment. Hi, Atachi. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show this. Then we'll get to coloring after I do my showing t show and tell. I have to cough again. <coughs> again, I apologize. I can't help it. It just happened. I was going to wait for some others to get in, but we'll just, um, we may just carry on and uh, go with it. So these are Stampin' Up. This is from Stampin' Up. Um, my friend Shy sells Stampin' Up. Her, thanks, look, I match. I got the blue, I got the, the purple, I took the blue off. <clears throat> Sherry, day by day, hour by hour. Leslie, it just depends on the hour. Sometimes the minute. But I, I do believe that I am... Uh, some days I think I'm better, so yes. Um, so anyway, yeah, I took the blue off, went with purple, got me a purple... Um, put my purple thing on. It's got fuzz and dog hair on it, but, you know, that's my life. Um, I have... Uh, you know, may may keep it purple. Hey, Connie, I may keep it purple for February because amethyst is the February birthstone. So anyway, hi Emily. Day three, how's it going? Um, so I'm gonna show this and then we'll we'll move it along. So like I said, these are Stampin' Up. My friend Shy selling Stampin' Up. Sounds good, Emily. So um. Her link to her website is in the description if anybody's interested in stamping up stuff. Hey, Della. So I'm just going to quickly go through these. This pack is called Flower and Field. So we're just going to go through. You get two of each. They are double-sided. So you have flowers on one. And I'm going to sit them over there and hope they sit. So there's two of each double-sided. I'm just going to quickly go through this because, you know, some could care less about paper, but I got it, so I wanted to show it. And then we have this one. Hi, Debbie. And then we have this one. And then we have this blue one. Um, then we have, I think this is the last one. So we have that. Hey, Carol. Uh, I'm going to try not to miss you coming in, but sometimes my chat skips. 
Okay, so we have that. Let's try to keep that together. Okay, then this one is called Woven Threads. And like you get two of each. And there's the front. That's wrong. <laughs> there's the back. <clears throat> Here's the front of this one. There's the back of this one. Like I said, I'm going kind of fast because, you know, I show this on the craft part of my channel, but I got it, so I wanted to show it. And then we have this one. And then we have this one. And then finally we have this one. So we have that. Then I'm going to stick this over there so that that can be. Also, I got this punch, which is a one, one and one eighth, um, like scalloped punch. And if I could find a piece of paper, I'd show you what this is. This is a scallop punch, and it does just little scallopy circles. So that was on clearance. So I got that. Um, then I also got the Stamparatus, which is this little dude right here um, that you use to position your stamps and such. Um, like you put it uh, like this, and then you have these little plates that you stick on and they <clears throat> then you put your stamp on the back align your paper there's magnets as well that go with it and um, you have two arms <clears throat> for that so and I'll just be honest with you I um, have wanted a misty for a long time <clears throat> but I would I was not um, gonna pay sixty dollars. Sorry about that. I was not gonna pay um, sixty dollars for that. So there's that. That's all the like crafty kind of stuff I got. Then um, let's see where do we want to go now. I'll show you what I finished so I can move this. I finished this page in the land um, Rita Berman book. You can look, Connie, yes. So I finished this um, in there, so that was good. Um, I got the Mermaid Special. There is a flip for this on the channel. So I got this. The um, I have a buddy color that I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be this image right here, which I think may be my favorite image in all of them. So there's that. So we have that. Murphy's outside if you hear him. I apologize for that. Okay. Now, um, let's move to these. I got these. Um, Brian brought these home. Um, he saw them and thought, hey, we need them. Um, yes, it does, Kenny. So I got these. So I thought we would open them <clears throat> and see the colors because they're different. They're pretty colors. Now, they aren't fine liners. Um, they are just permanent markers, but I thought we could uh, look at the colors um, and see what they look like. So these, it has, it looks like it has like yellow and um, greens and blues and oh my goodness, the dogs are having a fit. So, yeah, right, Tanya. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to do a video on it. Okay, so let's just see. Ooh, they have names, folks. They have names. Okay, so this one says Yellow Blaze. Yeah, I'm going to have to beat them. I'm going to have to beat them. I don't really beat my dogs. Okay, ooh, they are, they are fine. Oh, nice. So they are fine tips. 
So that is Yellow Blaze. This is, Carol, it's beautiful. This is Hot Aqua. Of course, it's not as neon as that looks, but. Ooh, I'm, I'm happy now because they're fine. I thought they were like regular. Lime Sorbet. Definitely need to swatch them because they do not match their barrels. <clears throat> this one is Deep Sea Blue. Are we having fun yet? Probably not. Deep Sea Blue. This one is Key Lime. Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, I didn't know they were they were fine. I thought they were the regular. And that's Key Lime. So that's those. Then we have these ones. That we'll see what they are. I'm going to have to cough again. I'm not doing very good with the suppression this morning. Sorry about that noise. Um, I guess I don't have to keep these packages anymore, do I? No. Why not? Let's throw them on the floor. Okay. So these we have Peach Parfait. Ooh. Peach Parfait. This we have Desert Rose. Hey, Terry Lynn. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. This we have Summer Melon. This is Sunset Orange. Add pretty close. And uh, rambunctious red. It better be red, folks. It is red. Ouch. Yeah, I like the names too. Okay, and then we have um, the last pack. <clears throat> These are pastel colors. Cats! I got a call. <coughs> okay. We have Ocean View Blue. I like that they have names. We have. Uh, hey, Eskies, I didn't see you if you're in here. Blue Skies Blue. We have. Polynesian purple. Which does not look like Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. Um, petal pink. They're hard to open. Petal pink. And last but not least, Fandango pink. So, there you go. That's them. Um, and they didn't really go through. Of course, I didn't bear down hard, but they really didn't go through. So there they are. Um, they look brighter on the screen than they are because, well, for some reason, my stinking camera's going nuts. So, okay. So we're going to put those aside over there. Then, also, I got uh, gel pens. I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to swatch every one of these. But I thought I would do a few of them so you could see the glittery goodness. Okay, these are inexpensive um, a and Art um, inexpensive gel pens. I don't use them enough to um, constitute buying a um, expensive ones. Okay, so we're just going to do, hey Charlotte, we're just going to do a few of them. Um, to, so I can show you the glitteriness of them. Um, maybe. Don't judge me. So once I do them, then I'll show you the 
the glit oop, the glittery part of them after I do some hey Karen thanks for popping in zoomy zoomy zoom There's those. <coughs> I, um, we don't talk about that. Let's see. Let's do, uh, let's do one of these colors. I wish these had names. <coughs> yeah, I think these were, I don't know how much these were. Now, some of them are not, I will say, some of them aren't good, like the inexpensive ones, I got glitter on my finger, or aren't the best, but these seem to be, and I have a little tip that I was told that if you rub it on your hand, um, it does help if they, if they won't roll. Hey, Lou! So, I like that black. So, yeah, we'll do a couple more and then we'll be over the bo this boring part. And move on to another boring part. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi, Shy. I showed the paper and my, and my stamp roll salt, my other, whatever you call it. And I linked your um, website. Just FYI. Okay. <coughs> Don't get all dumb. Yeah, that. That thing. I showed that. And the paper. Um, I don't know what it is here, Sherry. Oh, I have more. Wait a minute. Okay. I had another, I had another flippy that I didn't realize I had. All right. Um, I think that's good. I can show you, I can put it up there and show you the glitteriness of it. Yeah, I got, after I, after I figure out how to close it, Della. <laughs> Un momento. <laughs> Hush. The link is in the description. And art, 100 pack, links in the description. All right, I'm gonna show you the glitter if you can see it. Oh, Bic, Bic, okay. Yeah, that's what Brian brought. These came from the Dollar General. Bic Intensity. Hey, Katrina. There you go. I'm ready, I'm ready whenever you're ready. I just um, didn't read it right. Okay, so it's going to take me a minute to see it on my screen, so give me a moment. Oh, were they? Huh. How did they do? Let's see. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Can you see that they're glittery? Can you see them shining? Cause I can't tell if you can or not. Yes, no, maybe, probably not. Probably not, probably not. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they're very glittery. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay. Then I got these. Uh, just because they were on sale. Um, um, so yeah, I got these. And I got those because I got <laughs> this. This was on a lightning deal. And I got it. I haven't done anything with it. But here it is. There you go. Now what do I do with it? So, 
It's the 60 count of the Arteza gouache or Arteza. I don't know. I say Arteza gouache. So that's what it is. That's what I got. So, like I said, it was a lightning deal. I've had my eye on it for a while. Um, I saved the books until you got here, Sammy. Um, I, um, had my eye on it for a while, but then, you know, when I midnight shop, I, uh, saw that it was on a lightning deal, so I got it. So there's that. I love it. I just haven't used it yet. Like, I haven't opened them. I haven't done anything with them yet. They just sit there in that pretty box right now. So, yes, there's that. Now, moving on to, I got two, I got this book, um, I was show and telling, I was show and telling what I got, see, cause look, I'll recap real quick, ready Sammy? I got these gel pens. I got these Bic Intensity markers. They're like really fine. I got some crafty stuff. Like a, some paper and stuff. Okay. Yes, I can't wait to use them either. I can't wait to use them either. I just haven't yet. So, um... They are. I like them. Oh. Okay. So I got this, and this is by Alonia Nicholson. I don't know. But anyway, so this book is just like a lot of, um, you know, stuff. Reading stuff, whatever. Now, you can learn how to, um, this person uses, um, like masking fluids and, um, mineral spirits and all that, which I will not use, but, and I knew that when I bought it, but I thought that it would help me, um, yeah, that word, it would help me, um, you know, I have trouble with light sources I guess and I just I love books like this so when I saw it I thought I would just get it and um, yeah so it has um, all kinds of look Sammy leaves it has oh I confess to you both yes I did yeah that's a lot of words yeah so um, but I got it for, you know, just the, whatever, I don't know, because it was midnight and I wanted it. So, see, like this, they do, like, masking fluids and, and mineral spirit washes and peeling off with the putty thing. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to read it right now. So, but I thought it would help me with, you know, just... I don't know. Even if I don't know nothing, I look at it. It's a pretty book. Um. So yeah. So look, we can color peppers if we want to color peppers. Um. That's it. That's me. <laughs> um. But let's see. And then you have like exercises you can do. Like it exercises, and then it tells you what to do. Not that I'm going to do any of the things that it tells me to do, but there you go. It tells you what to do. So, yeah, there. And then, um, so that's that book. Blah, blah, blah. Boring, boring. Okay. And then this next book I got, when I got it, it reminded me of Sammy, which is this book. Yeah, the, I'm just going to, like, probably look at it. That's exactly right. 
Um, like, I'm going to look at it um, and, like, see the colors that they use or whatever and then go from there. But I'm not going to use masking fluid. I'm not going to and mineral spirits and all that. Um, I just know that I won't do that. Okay, so here we go. This is this is um, the Sammy book, okay? So I got this because, I don't know why, because I want to be better at portraits, okay? Now this, hey Sarah, now this one is they draw the portrait from beginning to end, okay? So... Um, it tells you, you know, it gives you your information about this, that, and the other. Okay? Look at this old-timey pencil sharpener. To me, that's old-timey because that's what I had in school. Anyway, so, and you get all this information. It tells you the layering and all this, okay? Then you get over here to um, uh, the portraits and stuff. And this person, Karen Hull... I don't know if she did all these, but whoever um, did these is amazing. So, you can do, it tells you that you can um, transfer, you know, your line drawings, whatever. Hey, Angela. So, anyway, so then you get over here, and you're going to, this is where Sammy comes in, okay? You're going to start your picture, okay? So, it gives you a list of uh, the colors you're going to need. Are you ready? There you go. There's your palette. There's your palette. Mm -hmm. All of those. All, 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 of, all of these. All, all, all of these. Yeah. Uh-huh. If that isn't Sammy, I don't know what is. Now, now, granted, you probably won't use all of them because it's beginning to end. Okay. Now, um, it goes through, like, eyes and, and all of that. Um, and like I said, you probably won't use all those colors because they are doing start to finish. Oh, just wait. Just wait. Then we have, so we have, and then the end result is this beautiful girl, okay? Then we have, um, this one, this one wasn't too bad. I didn't think. This one's not too bad. Now, but, here's one that's a lot. Who is seriously going to use this many pencils? And this one does use, you know, different different brands. Like, these are Polys and Pablos and Luminance. Yeah, right? So, but, the biggest one, I think think now granted this is for the whole thing this is for the background and for everything but I think the biggest palette was the last picture which was this <clears throat> dude right here you have all of these and then you move over to this page and have all of these too but you're doing you're doing the whole thing you know like you're doing the background and all of it from start to finish so um but i'm excited about it because i want to use more um i want to use more colors <clears throat> i mean you have a set of 150 and you use like seven yeah you don't uh you need to use more colors so <clears throat> And, and she has a master status with the Pencil Art Society. Of, of course she does, because anybody who can do um, drawings like that should have that. So there's that book. But I just like looking through them. You know, like, if you get stumped or whatever. But I have those other um, books as well. If I knew where they were. Hold on. Yeah. See, I have these as well. <clears throat> so, you know. So, they're... And there's some things in here that I want to try. It's just uh, a fancier version of these, I think. 
But yeah, so I have these. I haven't done anything in these. I thought about um, picking something out and us trying to do it um, together. <clears throat> so, but yeah. But I don't even, it's not that I even want to copy these things. It's just, they're, I think they're great for references. You know, like they're great for, um, like references. It helps you know where to put shadows and, and stuff like that. So, but yeah. So these are, um, yeah, there's a honeycomb in one of these. This one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I think, um, I know that Sammy has done, um, out of these. And also, I know Dee Dee has done out of these. There's your honeycomb. Um, but yeah. And my, um, honey thing don't look like that. My honey thing don't look like that. I don't know where my honey thing is, but it don't look like it. See? Mine don't look like that. I obviously didn't add enough brown. Yes, I it um it's a nice book. Um yeah, it's a, it's, I like it, even if I never, even if it just helps me, I like it because it breaks things down. Like, I struggle with, like, this part. Like, how far down in the eye do you go? How far, um, yes, you did the honey one. You did something else. Didn't you do candy or something? I don't remember. But anyway, um, I like it because it breaks it it breaks it down in sections. But yes, link link to this and the other book is in the description, are in the description, um, if you wanna check that out. And the gouache link is in the description. I would watch it because, that's it. I would watch it because I got it on a lightning deal so you know that it's gonna go on sale. Okay. So, now that we showed all that stuff, now what do we want to do? What do we want to do now? So, I started on this one. I have no idea how the color is going to look. But I did do her skin first, and it is too bright. Her skin is not that bright. It is um, um, darker than that. And I wonder if I should lower the camera or zoom. Let me zoom. Yes. I told you it is. Um, it is. I told you. I told you. I told you. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in and see if the color changes a little bit. And I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to do with her. Um. Let's see if that gets close enough. Oh, it's still bright. Um, she's darker than that. Her eyes are blue. So let's see if I can configure a little bit. <clears throat> nope, that ain't going to work. Let's see. We'll just have to go with it, I think. But her eyes are blue. Way bluer than that. I don't know why. Yeah, the links the links are in the description for the books. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know if I put it up here if it looks blue. Maybe if I hold it up, it looks blue. I don't know. 
if I'd get it in the camera, maybe you could see it. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Maybe I need to lower the camera. Hold on. You're going to shake for a minute. I apologize. Something's happened to my lights. Let's move that. Let's bring it down. Uh, maybe there. It's going to shake for a minute. I apologize. Just hold on for the ride. Uh, maybe a little. Anyway. Why did it move? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. I tell you what. Now I'm on a cord and I can't get off the cord. I swear. Is it Monday? Okay, you still can't see your dang eyes. But anyway, they're blue. See, they're blue. Alright. And that's blurry, but it's okay. All good. It's all fine. It's fine. Okay. So, the, um, bye Charlotte. Thanks for hanging out. Not today. No. Because she looks darker than this. Um, let's see. Let me try this. See, last time it was too dark. Now it's too bright. Tomorrow it'll be too dark. See, now it's too bright. I just can't even. Can't even. But I can only do this on live. All right, it is what it is. I ain't fooling with it anymore. But that's the only way. Um, hi, Neville. Are you yelling at me? That's the only way I can um, do it is on live. But I promise, she's not that pale. All right, so I don't know what to do now. Her dress... She reminds me of Rose Dawson from the Titanic. So that's um, what she reminds me of. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to um, try to do her um, like um, her. Like, I mean her clothes. And her crows, her crows, her crows. Her clothes that she's wearing in the movie is, um, is like a greeny color, like an off green color. So I don't know if I want to use gelatos or if I want to use, I don't need to be on this, or if I want to use, I did prismas on the skin and I don't know if I want to use gelatos or what I want to do. Because it's a light muted green type color. And then I'm going to do like blue flowers over it. She does, doesn't she? She did. As soon as I, as soon as I um, seen her, I was like, uh. Yeah. Hello, Rose. It's been 84 years. Yep. It's the first thing I said. Um, so if I can find a color that matches, um, I may use it, Neo. It may be a Neo color. It 
gonna do a neo color. So anyway, let's uh, stick that there. Hold the phone for just a moment. going to worry about it. Okay. So, I didn't clean that out either. What is wrong with me and my non-cleaning out stuff? Okay, so, I think I'm going to do Neos. Yeah, it's been 84 years. And I think I'm going to do, I'm missing a Neo. I don't know where that Neo is. I'm going to do Chromium uh, chromium oxide green, I think, for her shirt. Ring, ring. So, oh, hoo, hoo brush markers. They are in them. The, um, that's not normal. Are in the description as well. That's what I'm going to be using. Um, one day I'll be organized. Not today. So, Neo 2s. Are we ready to ruin this picture? <laughs> I need to tape this down. That's what Sammy does. I hear you, kitty. All right. So we're going to do Neo 2s and probably ruin this image. But it's a PDF, and it's just paper, and we can um, redo it. Right? I wonder if I could mix, if I should mix a gelato with it. Um, if there was a gelato that I wanted to mix with it, which color would it be? Kiwi, possibly. Alright, paper towel. Uh-huh. Hello. I need paper towels. Where did they go? tell you what people all right here we go we're going to activate this is chrome this is yes there's a difference one is a crayon one is like chapstick to me they're very different this is chromium oxide green all right gelatos are like chapstick and these are like um, crayons. Now, I feel like I should test this, the color. But no, why? Just go for it. Just do it. Why are we, what are we waiting on? All right, so here we go. We're just going to... Lightly go up in here. We're going to go ahead and cover them flowers because I'm not even going to be bothered with going around them. They will be blue color when it's all said and done. And I should have probably taped this. But the outfit that she has kind of looks um, like it's light and dark. So this should work out without me having to put pencil over top of it. Like I said, her the um, flowers will be... Um, blue. And I think her pearls will be blue because she doesn't have a heart on, of course, because it's not really rose. But she definitely reminds me 
of her. And this image is for Connie's hashtag, which is January Jane 2021. If anybody is wanting to participate in that. Then, um, and then it'll be time for February hashtags. And mine is a flower up February. Oops. So. And make sure that you have enough water because if you don't have enough water and you're trying to put on a watercolor, it will peel your paper. It'll peel your paper if you have too much water. It'll peel your paper if you don't have enough water. So you need to find a happy medium and work quickly is what I've, what I do. Not necessarily the right thing to do, but it's what I do. And go out of the lines, that is okay. There's her outfit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, speaking of lemons. Thanks. <clears throat> speaking of lemons, do y'all want to hear my, um, I need paper towels. Do y'all want to hear my new food combo? Why don't I have paper towels in here? I'll wait for you to tell me you want to hear it. Because I'm sure you do. I think Brian took my paper towels. Tell me when you're ready. Hi, Chris. <laughs> no, no, it's the same one. Are y'all ready? Okay, I need you to dry quickly. Yes, there you go. Della told it. All right, for her pearls, I'm going to use um, I want them to be blue. So I'm going to use um, sky blue light. I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to do Prismas for this because they're small. Sky blue light and then maybe a light aqua. And then um, indigo blue. Okay, hold on one minute. Somebody's needing something. Hold on. Somebody's needing a bill paid. So yes, my um co my food combo is in the um in the chat. Um, he doesn't think anything about my food combos anymore. He just, you know, he did send me gaggy faces, but it's okay. 
but it was really good. Hey, Mona. Okay. All right, so we're going to do... <clears throat> I don't need a food intervention. I may need a shopping intervention, but not food. Sky Blue Light. And... We're just going to go over all these pearls. So. And the book that I'm reading, The Wicked Will Rise, which is um, a Dorothy Must Die series, it has some great one-liners in it. My new favorite is, don't put your beak in my bird seed. Which means, you know, stay out my business. That's my favorite one right now. So, I don't know. I can't put my hand on that. That's wet. Alright, and then this is Light Aqua. And, let's see. Let's just do a little bit of this. You probably can't see this. Let me zoom in. Um, okay, well, I will say that... Oh. Some of the one-liners in this one is great. Like, if I wanted a load of bologna, I would have uh, had a cold-cut platter brought in. You know, stuff like that. Um, Connie does have a channel. Yes, she does. Tanya, get on that. Um, I'm kidding, of course. Um, yes, she does. And the hashtag is January Jane 2021. Boom, boom. Thank y'all. Um, Yes, if you're not subbed to Connie, you're missing out. You are missing out. For sure, for sure. All right. And then we will go. I need that to be dried by the time I'm done with these. You're welcome. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> okay, this is indigo blue. And we're just going to put it just a little something has Raven upset. Thought I was going to have to rescue about six more puppies. <sighs> but I didn't. Luckily, a, uh, a rescue had um, room for them. Somebody dumped six puppies on the side of a mountain. Close to here. It's called a ridge, but... <laughs> I thought we were going to have to head to get them. But luckily a, <clears throat> luckily a shelter um, uh, was able to get them. I, I'm like don't want to even use. Yes, it is. It is. Yep, she usually streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but today she's um, she's taking a little um, break. 
so um, so she will not be she will not stream today, but she'll be back. She'll be back on Tuesday. I'm looking for the white. Okay. Hey, add some Nutella and some macaroni and cheese. Thanks. Okay, and then I'm going to do white. And try to blend it all together a little. And then... <clears throat> Awesome. Yes, Connie is definitely a must watch. You must watch Connie. Thank you. I don't even know if you can see it. But I'm so aggravated at this. I don't know why my color keeps going crazy. And then I'm going back with indigo blue just to so I can keep the dark. Um but yes. So, how I discovered the mac and cheese and Nutella was, um, I was eating Nutella while I was making macaroni and cheese. Then when the macaroni and cheese was done, I used the same fork, and the fork had some Nutella still on it, um, you know. And, um, I was like, hmm, that tastes pretty good. So then yesterday, when I ate leftover uh, macaroni and cheese, I just said, I'm going to mix some Nutella in with it. So that's what I did, and so... Now I have me a new food. And it was good. So that's how the Nutella and the macaroni and cheese came to be. So there is that I'm going back over and just doing the white on the top part yep my happy little accident exactly right it's so good it's not like I'm gonna go eat it every single day uh-oh Somebody's banging stuff around outside. All right, so now we have that. I'm not sure that that's dry enough yet. It may be. We'll see. We're gonna do blue. I need to put this up. I don't need this anymore. We need to do blue, um, like blue, kind of blue flowers, but not like a dark blue flower, like a. Uh, Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. Hmm, let's see what color this does. Let's see what color this does. Mm, no. No to that. Uh, maybe a. No to that. Maybe cobalt turquoise. Let's go with that. And I'm not going to do, I'm just adding, it's not going to be like a, I'm just barely going to just add a little color to it. Nothing, because the dress that I'm referencing Hi, Lozzy. Maybe. I don't think I've said any words wrong today so far. It's still early. There's still time. Good to see ya. Um. So, yeah. So, possibly, um, supply video s Monday. 
coloring supplies video on Monday if I can get them all situ situated. Thanks. So there is that that I will probably do. So we got that coming. I think I'm going to do that Monday. That'll be the, I think that's the 1st of February. So I think I'll do that then. I'll do that then, I think. Uh, the PDF is probably a no-go. Um, so for those who requested that, I'm sorry. Um, but that's probably going to be a no-go. Then we're going to start our flowers for February. So, um, so I'm not sure how I want to do all that yet. And here comes the trash men because it's Thursday and that's what happens on Thursday. So if you hear a loud truck and you hear Murphy barking, which he's not barking right now, which kind of confuses me a little, but if you hear him barking, that's why. Probably should try to use some gelatos of some um, some a flower of February. That's me. Um, of some form. Now, I think that is part of her shirt. <laughs> and nobody told me. Nobody told me. What have y'all been doing? What have y'all been doing? Besides not telling me that I missed part of her shirt. Fantastic. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now I want to do this. I kind of want to do this like the old-timey kind of chairs, you know. The one, what is this hair doing? The one that has like the gold trim on the outside. But I could use the bronze, the bronze from the Neo 2s, because that's one of my favorite colors from the Neo 2s. So I could do, uh, but you know, like those, um, the burgundy looking chairs, you know what I'm talking about? Like those burgundy colored chairs, burgundy colored chairs. Um, let's see if I have anything that I could do it uh, mauve because that would work uh, mm. aubergine would look alright too Let's see. 
the aubergine will look good. It's purpley. Or mauve. Mauve! Let's go mauve the yard. Yeah, sorry. Mauve. <laughs> um. Maybe aubergine. With. I think that's too dark. It's not going to be too dark whenever I water it down. And then maybe with um, bronze, um, the bronze backing. I don't know. Let's just do it. We're spending entirely too much time on um, this. But I guess I'm going to use Neo 2s instead of uh, um, uh, those other things. What's the other things called? Gelatos. Hi, Amber. Yes, those velvet, those old velvet chairs. And I think this aubergine will be good for that, like a purpley, velvety chair. So we're going to try it and see what happens. Um, I'm running out of room on my... Uh, this may be too dark. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh. So it's aubergine. There's not an O in it. It's all aubergine. Oh, good gracious. Good gracious. All right, we're going to go with it and just hope for the best. Go with it and hope for the best. That's all anyone can do right now. We will just make it work. If it doesn't work, we'll just do something else. Cause it's just paper people. Anybody got plans for the weekend? What you gonna do for the weekend? Got the Royal Rumble coming up on Sunday for anybody who watches a wrestling. Let's not get it on her little scarfy. I mean, her little collar. Now, it's going to look blotchy. Nobody freak out. It's all going to be okay. It'll all work out in the end. As people say, you got to go through the ugly stage first. Sammy told me that early on. think when I, hmm, maybe when I got Neos. I don't remember, but anyway, at some point she said, gotta go through the ugly stage first. <laughs> yes, it's the Royal Rumble. Yep, it is. Sunday, Sunday. That's funny. <laughs> I will say I like gelatos better. You can email me if you want. I don't know that I like them better. I do like them better, but... It's okay. I mean, these are okay, too. The gelatos didn't have the color I really wanted, so. We'll go with this. And make it look all blotchy. Do 
Does he think um, Rousey will come back for the Rumble? I've got to go all the way to the bottom, even though it's not there. Yeah, does he think that Ronda Rousey will come back? That's my question. I know I need to let this dry. Fuss at me and tell me to let this dry or else it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess if I don't let it dry. But I'm impatient. Okay, dry. Okay, Connie. <laughs> he said shrug emoji. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure either. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm doing bronze for the back part. I know, fuss at me. Let it dry. Let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. I don't want to let it dry. I'm impatient. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Rain. Yep, I have a lot to talk about today. I feel like I've talked a lot already. People will be forgetting that I'm on. They'll be like, um, I forgot you were on. Stop with the rolling of the paper. Add more water. about you, old Rose. Should have taped you down cause you're buckling. I have to let this dry too, don't I? I don't not do. I think, though, that I can do her, um, that to be bronzy. Maybe. What do we think? Okay, let's do something else. Let's do something else. Let's figure out her hair. <sighs> Whoopsie. Let's figure out her hair. Her hair is white. So, we're going to need grays. We're going to need to leave those two colors out. Close this up. Look for some grays. Thank you. 
look for some grays. I love gelatos. Ooh, I can do cool grays because hair's dead. Yes, indeed I do. It is. It indeed is. Thanks, Mona. Sharpen. Sharpen. Um... I, I still have some, um, I don't know, side effects, I guess would be the word for it. Um, I guess we would say side effects from it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And sometimes I get choked. My worst side effect is um, not getting words out the way and this is skylight blue um not getting words out that i would like to say <clears throat> but other than that i'm okay just gotta run its course i guess We're going to howl. You know, we always have to do that at least one time a stream. So that's what they're doing. Alright, then I'm going to go, mm, let's do some indigo blue, just a little bit. I don't even know what they're howling at. They probably don't even know. Riker's probably like, why are y'all making all this noise? I'm trying to sleep. Does my throat hurt? Um, no. It doesn't hurt. My chest hurts. My throat doesn't hurt. And hurt probably isn't the right word. It burns a little sometimes. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we were talking in the last stream about how Riker can't see very well. Yeah. Um, where Riker can't see very well. And so yesterday, um, him and Brian were playing. This is 30% cool gray. Him and Brian were playing and uh, he went to jump on the couch and bless it. He jumped from like um, middle of the floor and his front feet made it but his back feet didn't. Cause, and we were doing a test about <clears throat> his depth perception and uh, and um, fine, I didn't buy anything last night. And he um, can't see until you get like right up on his face like he can't figure out um, how close things are or how far away they are whichever little buddy my little buddy Um, I think it's always been there. We're just noticing it more because he's older. Um, 
they said because of like the shape of the way his eyes are. I didn't. Um, the way his eyes are, um, that he would probably have problems. Nope. I did not. I did not. I put my phone down and I turned away from it. I fought the urge to even look. Thank you very much. I may or may not have two books coming tomorrow, but other than that, and that was from the other day, but yeah, he's, uh, like if you throw something, um, for him, he like doesn't see it sometimes, um, it's really strange. But he, um, man, don't slow him down. He be fighting everybody like he's, he thinks he has to jump on Murphy so that he can be higher up. And he, he's almost as tall as Murphy, so I don't understand. <laughs> yes, me too. I'm hoping that, um, Book Depository will be able to get it to me. Um, we're back with Sky Blue Light. So maybe they will be able to. Yeah, he, um, and he's so young. That's what, and I guess that's better that way that he's so young because then he doesn't like have it his whole life and then it's taken away, you know, like when they get old, um, you know, so I don't know. Uh, February the 4th. But he's been in training this week because the jumping up is has officially not cued anymore. So he's been in training and he officially knows how to sit now. Um, so. So that's a plus. But he has... Uh, you know, we used to like to dance and say yippee in the kitchen when he was three pounds and eight pounds and short legged. And now that he has 18 inch long legs, it's not very cute. So he, um, so we're working on that. We'll get him doing that and then we'll teach him something else. And Brian wrestles with him. And then when um, Riker bites him, Brian gets mad at him. And I'm like, uh, your fault. You knew it was going to happen. You're wrestling with him. What do you expect? Fragile world. So, yep. So we're working on it. I'm, I am um, very thankful that I didn't have to get those six last night. Oof. Even though I was going to um, turn them over to a shelter, I'm glad I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to do that. Thank you. I'm glad I did not have to do that. It makes me so mad when people do crap that they do. So, <clears throat> I don't know if I go over that again with Neos or if I go in with pencil. I think pencil. So, let's find a purple. Dolly a purple, perhaps? Yep. I think. We'll see. I don't know. That might be too dark. Or my violet, perhaps. I'm 
we'll do these two. So Parma Violet. And then we may throw in some Dahlia Purple. Maybe. We may want just this. Because I can't decide. I know I'm going to want this on the darkest part, so I'll go ahead and do that for the darkest. Um, did you get it on Amazon or did you get it on Book Depository? Um, somebody dumped um, uh, six pups on the side of a mountain. And the person who found them and was kind enough to pick them up um, really needed them to not be at their house. So I thought I was going to have to go get them. But I did not. So for that I am thankful. People think the rescue business is easy stuff, and it's not. We need people to just be decent human beings and stop throwing puppies out on the side of the road. That's why, Terry Lynn. Yeah, they were cute. They were cute puppies, too. But as, as bad as it is, um, of course, he they put it on their personal page, so that's better. But um, if I can just give a recommendation to anybody who has a puppy that they don't want or an, any animal that they don't want or they're trying to find a home for, please don't put it on like yard sale sites or something like that. Please just put it on your personal page. Um, so that it's your friends and that they share it with like their friends instead of just um, um, so that it just um, you know goes to somebody that's not gonna you have a better chance of somebody not being mean if it's on your personal page than if you put it on like a yard sale site because as bad as it is, there's mean people. As bad as it is to, you know, think about, sad as it is to think about, and we don't want to believe it about humanity, but a lot of people take those and use them as bait dogs um, for fighting rinks and stuff. And so I, um, thanks. So I, um, um, one moment. So I recommend not putting them on um, yard sale sites. I also recommend doing a um, rehoming fee, at least posting a rehoming fee, even if at the end you don't charge it. Um, I do. Uh, that's another little piece of advice for you, because they do a lot of them use them. Not a lot, I guess. I shouldn't say, but. A lot of people go to um, the yard sale sites to find bait, bait animals, and it's sad. <clears throat> yeah, but, and the thing is, Brian talks all tough and bad, but if those people needed us to come get those puppies, we would be on the way to get those puppies. It, he, he talks a tough game, but he's not. 
he's not tough like that. He would be right there to help him. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I'm not mistaken. All I would have had to do was say, let's go. And here we would have gone, and you know it. So stop trying to be all tough. Don't make him don't make me tell him the Finley story. Yeah, that's that's all right. That's what he did. I believe that. Yeah, don't take it. <laughs> I won't. Right, Sammy, I'm telling you. Sometimes. That's what I said in your stream. I said I said Andrew is definitely the UK version of Brian. And I'm coloring this so that it's not like even because I don't want it to be even because it's supposed to be velvety looking. And I probably could have painted it with acrylic paint and gave it a texture. That's probably what I should have done. <laughs> yeah. So. But it is what it is. Just my little bit of animal advice for you. It would be the tea fairy. Yeah, right. <coughs> Sorry. Get out those how to books. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what'll happen. Is I'll like be coloring and then I'll be like, oh wait a minute, I think I could do this in a how to book. Let's see what this white's gonna do if I put it in there. cat macaroni and cheese and Nutella uh-huh now it looks more velvety once you add the white to it maybe That's what you're having for dinner tonight. Yeah, that looks more velvety, I think. <laughs> You'll eat it and you'll love it, mister. <clears throat> Thanks. It's not supposed to be perfect. I mean, it's not like a wow, you know, but it's okay. 
it kind of looks so velvety. Fabric isn't supposed to be, um, it's not supposed to be um, all one type of color. Bye! Gotta make that money, man. Money, man. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Now, that looks velvety enough for me at the moment. Don't know about you, but. It's colored anyway. That's what we're going for on the coloring channel. Okay. Now, the bronzy stuff. What are we going to do with that? I may just add another coat of that on there. Because I don't exactly know what. I have a bronze, um... I have a bronze prisma. Let's use it. We don't ever use bronze prisma. Whew. I can, Wendy, yes. My taste is different, but I can taste again, yes. <laughs> Are you asking me that because of my food combo? <laughs> oh, I've got people all freaked out over my food combos. Pablo broke. Um, bronze, maybe? Just try it. It's good. Just try it. It's good. Mm-hmm. Bronze. Okay. Just stick to the hot dogs and chocolate then. That's okay. Get off me. Yeah, the, um, yeah, no test, no testing. Boop, boop. No tasting was very weird. The smelling, the not being able to smell was probably the strangest part. Not being able to smell. That was probably the strangest of all of it. But. And I'm still not. I got to turn. Sorry. I'm still not sure I can. Um, taste everything. For a. When my taste was coming back. My hot chocolate tasted like diet. It was so gross. So, yeah, it was not, it, it was ugh, like, I couldn't drink it. Like it was like, I kept going over there and looking at the container, <clears throat> trying to find the word diet on it somewhere. That's how it, that's how gross it was. Sorry, Bob. Okay. Am 
not bad. I've got to go in with some darker color. Maybe some black? No, maybe some... Maybe some... Hmm, espresso maybe? Espresso. Maybe some espresso? I don't know. Let's see if I can zoom in one more time. Yeah, I like it. I don't know why I just pull. I haven't used Prismas in a while. And um, I saw a Prisma skin tone. And this time I went, um, I went dark to light this time. And I feel like it kind of helped me. I think. I don't know. It kind of helped me get, I still didn't go dark. I mean, she's darker in person than, than what it shows on the screen, I think. But um, it helped me go darker. And I have decided that I'm just going to be okay with the fact that maybe I don't go way dark. When other people do, do oh one moment when other people do it um it looks amazing when i do it it looks like um yeah i'm not even going to say the spanish word for it but yes so i'm just going to do what looks good to me to my eye when i color for my things and um just try to do better than I was yesterday but I want it's like I want to like I wanted to go darker and then I'm like ugh. <laughs> I'm like no I don't thanks now I did have there was an image that was going to be in the trash and I had a friend say just finish the neck and then and then you can decide because I had I had a mishap with a poly and it did dark it did a dark line so I had to go darker on the skin and um, they said just just see it through with this with the um, neck and then you can decide then what you want to do so I did the neck still wanted to trash it but I left it and um, went to bed probably shopped and then um, came back the next day and it didn't look as bad as it um, looked the night before so um, You know, and I'm never a bragger of my own, of my own stuff, but I'm glad I didn't throw it away because I think you learn with each image that you do. I think you can learn things. And every picture, every picture screams at you differently. So I was glad that I left it and then came back the next morning. Because it was going to be ripped to smithereens. So 
and that was fine. Uh, mine aren't either. Yeah, you know, I just, if you just, you just gotta, I guess, leave it. So I learned in that moment, at least for that, to not do things in haste, like throw vacuum cleaners out the front door or throw images away, show it to somebody and uh, have them talk you down. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> same same rain I do too I do too okay um let's see what can we do now I kind of want to get a little more done on it um but I don't know what to do Like, I kind of want to do a little more. I just don't know what I want to do. I can do this can be bronze, um, like the back of the chair, because I need to bring some, some bronze up. Um, I'm going to make her earrings the same as her, the same as her, um, necklace. Telling you, I can't words today. Um, these earrings don't match, Jane. Just saying. Just saying. Um, this is the first packet of um, Jane stuff that I've ever purchased. But when I saw them and I was like, this person reminds me of this person and this person reminds me of that person, then I was like, okay, I'll get it. So that's what I did. This is indigo, indigo blue. go over it with the white after we get the red off the white remember if you're using your white pencil make sure that you get your previous color off of it because it will stick there um, so yeah Just gonna go over all of it with the white and try to blend that in some. Bye, Lazzy. Thanks for hanging out. Glad you're back. Okay. So there's that. Alright, so let's think for a second. I could go ahead and go away, or we can work a little longer. What would you like? You tell me. Or we can play, do something else. Whichever. What do you think? Please and thank you. Um, the flowers make me a little... <laughs> the flowers make me a little crazy because they're not like really... 
defined flowers. So they are going to have to be watercolored. Work, work, work. Flip it and reverse it. Okay. Um, so they're going to have to be a watercolory type of deal because they're not very whatever. So, um, and I think I want to do them. Do we want purple roses? Do we want red roses? What do we want? We need watercolor though. So we're either going to do gelatos or um, neos. So let's see what we got. I could do the aubergine. I could do the aubergine. Um, I could do the same color as this for the roses. And that would bring that up. Because I think I'm going to do, whoopsie, I think the plate may end up being bronze. But then I don't know what color to do the teapots and stuff. Because they're not going to, I don't, hmm. I don't know. Let's do, let's do, Let's do aubergine. I have it out. We'll do that for the roses and then we'll do something. But I'm wondering. And then we'll do daisies. I don't know. I kind of want yellow daisies. Because I think I want flowers in here to be yellow. Because I think I'm going to color these. I'm not going to like have them be just all one thing. I think I'm going to color them. Okay, so we're going to do aubergine roses. Like I said, these are not very, like, defined, so they need to be watercolor. I'm sorry, why are we yelling? Why are we crying? Everything in your life cannot be pink. I could have probably done a colorful bouquet like Connie did her butterflies. This reminds me of the Creative Haven type flowers, which is why I usually do watercolors in the Creative Haven books. Alright, so I think that's all of those. Then I'm going to do yellow. I wonder if this yellow will activate that's up here, but I don't know what it is if I don't have enough of it. So let's see. 
Will you activate after being on here for so long? Probably not. Yep, a little bit. I wonder if I've got enough to do them. Probably not. We'll see. I have no idea what color this is because it's just on the palette. Because I didn't clean the palette when I played last time. I feel like I need to move the camera down. Don't try this at home, kids. <clears throat> Watercolor then, Sammy. I've got to finish the birds. Oh, i got to finish that, Bob. Then it's Valentine's Day. We got well, we got a bunch of flowers we're gonna do in February. I'm gonna try to do a bunch of flowers. I've got a bunch of PDFs that I need to color. Mm hmm We won't discuss that. But like I said, I will not be doing a PDF um whatever it's called. Show and tell. I feel like that was not a daisy, but it is now. Let's go ahead and do these, because I want these to be the same color. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do all these. Same color, just give them a little color on them. Yeah, my dragon's not coming very much either. So, yeah, it's, uh, I gotta finish it too. <laughs> I picked the wrong time to get COVID. I was all gung-ho and then it went out the window. Okay, so I think I have all of those done. Okay. See. So, there be that. Now we need a green for Sammy's leaves. And I'm going to do them in watercolor. I'm just going to pick a green. I don't even know what green. What green is this? Grass green. That sounds good. I don't need much of that, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah, I think we've all lost the mojo for the dragon, except for some people who do it twice. I won't mention any names. Dun, 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 dun. We're just going to guess where the leaves are and go from there. Like I said, it's more of a watercolory type of deal. So, the um, Dorothy Must Die series, I think I was talking about that, and then I stopped mid-comment, which that's kind of what I do nowadays. 
but it is um, the one I'm reading now has great one-liners and um, but I will say this it does have a lot of bad reviews and that's okay but I think um, if you are a fan of the Wizard of Oz um, then you will like you would like it um, it is um, definitely different like Dorothy's a little brat and she needs her butt whooped but um, yeah it is um, if you like the Wizard of Oz you may like it um, just cut it just cut it like um, with a razor blade that's what I would do if you're wanting to take one apart. A ruler and a razor blade. I put any on that thing and most of the time I would probably just like blend this in with whatever the cups and stuff were gonna be but um, I didn't want to do that and I need to put yellow on um, on this one because I didn't get him done So there's that. Yes, just take it and put a razor blade and yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I have one somewhere. I was going to show you. Yes, that's what you need. And just take it. Hold on. I'll show you. I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you. Like you just take it, open it up the best that you can open it up. Like that. And then take your um, take your ruler and then just cut down. Down like that. That's what I do. Yep, that's how I do it. I don't know that I do it correctly, but that's how I do it. I'm going to do these as little blue um, baby's breath instead of white just so I can have no I don't I just um, I just cut and go slow um, go slow with it oh no get back in there yeah, go real slow. Alright, and then we can do also these little, well, I need to wait and do those. Until, until I'm done with that. Alright. Now let's see what we have. I don't know if you can tell I have yellow on those flowers or not. But there, it's on there. So now, now we are going to do 
gelatos. Gelatos. I'm getting gelatos if you wonder what I'm doing. Those are reds. I don't want reds. I don't want oranges. I don't want those. So let's see, we can go with, um, let's see, coral maybe, coral is an iridescent, I don't know that I want it iridescent. So we're going to do coral. I'm running out of a room on my palette. Coral. Which is like an iridescent color, so I'm not sure how that's going to work for me to put a bright color on top of it. But we're going to roll with it. So coral it is. And let's see what we can do with the coral. Oh, the second one or the first one, Carol? I want to color in that book so bad. I just don't know where to start. Just have no idea where I want to start. I think I'm going to start with the first page. That's usually what I do. Both cool, awesome, exciting. Connie never leads us astray in the book department. Like, I don't even have to see a flip through. I'm just like, okay, Connie said it's good, it's good. <laughs> Sorry, I got quiet all of a sudden. Supposed to be entertaining the people. So did we, um, Decide what we were doing this weekend. Did anybody say they had any plans for the weekend to do anything? Anything, um, if we made goals for 2021, how are they looking at the end of, um, January? Uh, 
Um, yes, and we will color one. We will buddy color one if you would like. You've got, um, there are plenty. Plenty to choose from. I also got me some watercolor paper and I don't like it. I know it's because I need to work with it more but I was like meh. I was like no thank you. We gotta let this dry so that's gonna be like watching paint dry before I can do anything else. Yes, Wilson. Good job. I don't I don't know did I make any goals for January? Probably not. <laughs> Who knows? my ink was running but I think it's the iridescence of this um, thing making the black lines shine huh interesting that's funny that's funny Yep, that's what it is. It's the iridescent part of the gelato making the black lines shimmer. Funny, funny, funny. Okay, let's have a pink spoon too, one, two, or a coral spoon, whatever. Now when that dries, I'm going to go and put some more pink in it. Bubblegum pink. Okay, now we need like a bluish white light color light color blue for the base. Whoa. Um, hi, purple. And let's see. Maybe this color. Not much, just a little. So it has some color on it. Okay, then we're going to need like a, uh, we'll do this. If it'll reactivate, we'll do this in here. Now while that's drying, let's do some uh, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I 
Yes, everybody needs that book. Uh, let's do burnt ochre and chocolate. So burnt ochre. I shouldn't have used iridescence because it's making um, it's making the ink lines whatever. Makes me so mad. Oh. I'm over it. Okay. And this is chocolate. We're just going to um, chocolatey up these chocolate chip cookies or biscuits, whatever you call them. Whatever you'd want to call them. And just lightly make them up like a sew. Then, I'll put that back up. And then we're going to need something. We need a yellow to go over. Nope. Let's see. Maybe a yellow ochre to go in with the Flowers a little bit. Nothing fancy because, like I said, they look like they should be watercolored. So you don't have to give them, give them as much or as little detail as you want. You do you, however you want to do it. I'm going to have to start planning out streams because I'm struggling with figuring things out to do. So I'm going to try to plan them out um, in advance. So we're going to work on that, doing that. I think supplies video will be Monday. Um, for those of you who weren't here when I said that earlier. It shouldn't take too long. I shouldn't have to be, I shouldn't have to come on earlier. Because um, it shouldn't take too long. It depends on if y'all have questions about products or not. That's when it may take a while if you um, if you have questions, which I mean it's fine if you do. I'll try to answer them. I'm not an expert by any means of the word, um, but that's been almost requested almost as much as the um, coloring book collection. So. I'm going to try to get that done for ya. If not Monday, I may do an impromptu for that, um, for that stream. Mm, not a lot of people stream on a Friday. That may be a good Friday stream. Not tomorrow, of course. I'm not organized for it yet and then I've got to do my crafty one as well and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna break that up into like punches 
and then stamps and that sort of thing like break it up some um, like have one uh, you know one for stamps and one for um, punches and such <laughs> so come it's tomorrow yeah probably not tomorrow okay this is um, hot pink and I think I'm just gonna do it instead of going back with the gelato bubblegum pink I think I'm just gonna do um, pencil on top and I think I'm gonna take the black and go over this um, because it's gonna make it blue and shiny because I used iridescent um, if you don't want your lines to be shimmery don't use iridescent gelato on top of them I'm just saying and this is not black this is indigo blue <laughs> I didn't have black out. I was like, why is that so blue? I wanted blue in originally, but then I decided that I might do black. But the blue, the blue works. Blue works. Blue works. Okay. Back to hot pink. And I don't know if you can see any of this that's going on, but look later on Instagram and you'll see what it really looks like So just go in wherever you want. And then of course it's going to be darker underneath the plate. We may have to go in with even something a little darker than this. Gelatos make a great base for pencils. And these are Prismas that I'm using. And uh, they're working really well over them. As I haven't found anything that doesn't work over them. So. That's so good. Thanks. <laughs> yes. You know, you don't have to. You can watch them with your eyes open if you like. But yeah, I'm going to um, be working on that. But I think if I break them up, like I can do punches and then, you know, some. Uh, <laughs> I've had people ask for my paper pad collection. I. I that's probably not happening kind of like with the PDF thing that's not happening uh, I don't think they know what they're asking I don't think they realize just what they're asking yeah <laughs> I know right I was like uh don't know what you're asking me but I had considered the PDF one I had considered doing the PDF one until I was uh, going through said PDFs and I was like yeah no probably not we probably won't be doing the PDF one so yeah but I'll do the color and supplies and and more people want it live so I'll 
I'll do it live, like like we did the coloring books. And of course, it's in no way bragging about things that I have. A lot of things have been gifted, um, you know, for Christmas or birthday or stuff like that. A lot of it has been purchased myself. I never asked for handouts, ever. And it's in no way bragging. I love watching those videos and I know a lot of people like watching them too. <laughs> Hi Joanna. Yep, I got it. This one reminds me of Rose Dawson. Um, reminds me of Rose Dawson. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> I really hope, because I really, I really try not to be that way. I don't want to be that way. I just want to share and enjoy it all with everybody. Thanks, Rain. <laughs> well, you know, we won't discuss hoarding. I mean, I may use it sometime, you know? I mean, I need it. I need it. I need it. Okay. I think bronze. Oh, I don't know. I've about talked myself out of a bronze platter. <laughs> we nosy. Um, I think, I don't think I want bronze now. I think I want more of a lighter color. Let's see, what do we have in the gelatos? Let's see. Ooh, we could do like a buttercream or a persimmon. <laughs> Thanks. We could do a buttercream, persimmon, board yet. Buttercream. What color are you? Because I can't find buttercream. I think buttercream maybe. Let's try buttercream. <clears throat> yeah, let's do buttercream and try to make it, I don't know, do something. It's good. Try it, folks. I don't know why y'all doubt me. Never doubt me. Yep, I decided no bronze, no bronze for your head. No bronze for your head. That's between you and Sammy and these scrumpets. I made chocolate chip cookies.
need to talk more. We've run out of things to say. No comment from the peanut gallery over there. Probably should have stuck with bronze, but here we are. Here we are. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I don't even know. <clears throat> okay, so we have that. What about them little droppy things? See, I feel like they're. I don't know. Let's just make them hot pink. I don't know. Because I kind of think that you can see through them. But it all needs to match. Matchy, matchy. <clears throat> um, these are watercolor. These are watercolor. They're just called the gelatos, but they are watercolor. They are water medium. I need you to dry. Are we doing a background or no? Like, does she need a background or no? I think, I think maybe not a background. What do you think? Okay, so we have that. Then I'm going to take the bronzy color. Are you dry? Probably not. Are you dry enough? Let's see. And we're going to go over it. The bronze color. Yeah, see, I don't know. I can't. I mean, because she has it. She's, she's busy. She's a busy young lady. Yeah, I know. You'll always opt out. And I'm sure Wilson's over there like, Yep, she needs a background. What do you mean? Why are you even why are you even asking? Like, what do you mean no background? Have you ever? Like, never in my life. I'm thinking I don't know if I do do I do those rows out see I don't I think I'm, mm. I can't decide like if I do those roses around their purple or leave them like they're blended into this tray if I do them purple it'll bring it all together if I leave them, then what?
Ooh, I wonder if I got stencils. That's a good idea. I can do like Connie does with stencils. wonder if I could do that with dry gelatos or do I need like chalks I think I'm not coloring those yeah yeah that's I think I'm not coloring those I kind of like them gold you would never have bronze and gold together people don't don't do this I'm a non-color theory colorist okay I just slap color on a page. So I'm just saying. You think that I could do them with um, dry gelatos? Hmm, I wonder. Do I have any stencils close by? <laughs> One moment. I got to. I got to. Um, Gotta have a gander. Gotta have a gander. And see if I have any stencils close by. see what we have we have that which is animal print we have this which was could kind of be that may work um, that may would might work that's a paper one. That's not going to work. No. 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 Somebody needs to organize. That'd be me. No. 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 Ooh, there's a chandelier -y one. No. And negative. All right, then I have these little pebbles ones. Let's see what's on this one. That one's Christmas. That one's Halloween. That one's birthday. Oh, that one's baby. That's for um, that's outfit. Uh, that's summery. That's summery too. That's flowery. What's wrong with you? Go in. Mm. 
go in. Why won't you fit? Okay, and then this one is kind of decorative-y. We have a small, we could do flurry de -lees. We can do flurry de -lees. I think I want this one. Yep, I think I want that one. Okay, so um let's see. It needs to be muted. We need something muted. I probably should cut this stencil out. Let's see. We're going to use this. I wonder if I can do it. I wonder if I can do it dry. What color am I using? I want a light color. A light, light color. Caramel, you think? I thought maybe Rose Quartz because, you know, her name's Rose. Let me look at caramel. have that color in gelatos. I'm going to try to do it dry. And it would be kind of, that's kind of, caramel color may be kind of like, you know, the Titanic. We'll see. I don't even know if it's going to work. I don't even know if it's going to work. Yep, it's going to work. to zoom out one time. We go from no background to, hey, let's pull out some stencils into the background.
Are we bored yet? I just thought this kind of looked um, like an old timey type thing and it's just going to barely be in the background, you know, like just a little, maybe, I don't know. Tell her hello for me. Please, if you don't mind. Thanks for hanging out. I know I'm going way over time. There's somebody out there that Murphy don't like. And the other ones don't like. They sound mean and focious. This is probably going to be crooked. That's okay. We are here for it. We are here for the crookedness. It is all right. And that's about as far as we're going to go. What does it look like? Okay. Now we need to... Line it up. And start over. Sorry about my loud mouth dogs. I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Anybody say anything to me? Hey, Patrice. I have no idea where I got this stencil. Uh, I've had this stencil for uh, Walmart, I think. Walmart? Probably. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to say Walmart.
doesn't look very straight that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm the one putting the wallpaper on which means that it did not go on straight and then you just line it up Nice, Patrice. Exciting. New books are always exciting. <laughs> I'm using gelatos right now. They're exciting too. Sorry, I was out of frame. Sorry. I got a little carried away. With getting it lined up and I forgot to look at the camera. Do this right here by her face. And we may be done. I think we're done so. Uh, let's see, let me get this. And these are, this is the brush that I use for, um, that I use. I don't use the little stencil brushes. I use this. I use this brush, which comes in this pack. Of a bunch which I could have tried a big one to see if I could go over a whole thing okay so that was caramel on the background using a stencil that I have no idea where it came from so cool So let's try to put some of this stuff back where it goes real quick so I don't mess that up. Alright, I'll pick that up later. Alright, let me zoom out. Yes, they, well, when you look them up, um, it says they're like ink blender brushes. If you look them up. They are under ink blender um, brushes. I didn't know I was going to use them, so I did not put them in the description. Anyway, there's a lady. I need to uh, put Posca in her eyeball.
this. Today, let's um, do a little bit on her. And I may could take the black lines out of her pearls but I don't think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it and I need to do I need to do um, her collar real quick and I think I want it to be like an eggshell color just nothing fancy just so it has just a little bit of color away from that stark white. And this is um, just eggshell and I'm just lightly going over the entire thing just so that that's too white. It was too too stark white for me. just needed to give it a little color like a so like a so all right there she is it's been 84 years but we are done so this is the hashtag January Jane 2021 for Connie and there it is Background worked good. I may be using that background um, a lot now that I found my, um, um, yes, she reminds me of Rose Dawson from the Titanic. So, hello. So, um, that's what I'm going with. We're calling her Rose. So, yeah. But there she is. My very first Jane Hankins. All because of Connie having a hashtag. So, it's been a long time, folks, so um, I'm sure y'all are ready to skedaddle, and um, I will see you again on Monday. We will um, say I'm doing my coloring supplies on Monday, and, uh, and we'll go from there. It may not be. We may, um, we may impromptu. Not very sure. But I it really appreciate you all hanging out with me and helping me to finish miss rose here and um if you need me before then you know where to get me and uh, until then be kind to one another make someone smile and i will see you in another stream bye guys